this is the, the side that you would see when the sheep is walking around and this is the inside where it's cut, cut from the sheep. So the first thing you do is you would take off any, if there were any really dirty pieces, say around the tail area or around the tummy area on the sheep, you would take off any really dirty pieces. And then after that, then you would start to sort out your fleece. And the first thing you do is you card it. Card it is like combing the wool. And it's, you're getting the fibers all running in the one direction. And you're also taking out a lot of the dust and the dirt out of it because no matter how clean the sheep is, there will always be dust and dirt in it. So, sorry. These are traditional carders. Um, they're just like pieces of wire and you comb your wool through it. This is a very slow and tedious um, operation. And years ago in Ireland, when everybody spun, there would be maybe three ladies sitting carding the wool and there would be one lady spinning because the carding is very slow and takes a long time with these. Nowadays um, I have what's called a slightly bigger thing, it's called a drum carder and I can feed wool into it. I still have
Hey, Mr. Marty fans. Here we are on the grounds of the Westport house. Take a look about how the sun slides in beneath the trees. Now, I'll turn you around and show you our way to the Westport grounds. See you when we get there. Hi, Mr. Marty friends. I am now at the Westport house. We walked a while through um, some boggy woods and now I'm gonna show you the front of the house and in the background you'll see Crow Patrick. Enjoy the sound of water rushing through the, the reeds and going down a little man-made waterfall. And now we will head and make our way back to town on this path. Hi, Mr. Marty friends. Here we are in front of Westport House on our way back to town, and you can see some sheep happily grazing in golden hour. On the Smell, uh, which was an old Carmelite convent, and then they put, you know, cemeteries they built around there, you know, and then Cromwell came and kind of screwed things up. But uh, we have a very brand new looking cemetery stone and the only reason why that is is that some guy came with a backhoe and he was going to dig a grave and he swung around and knocked our shoulder <laughs> and so, for some reason there was something very humorous about that because <laughs> it was the only one in the cemetery like that you know and so uh but my cousin Seamus wouldn't see any of that so we had a beautiful new uh, gravestone put up but of course the old one's still there so it's kind of fun I said Tony now there just pull up the grass there and you'll see the old one yeah. so, I said it only weighs 500 pounds but let's see if we can get it into our carry-on <laughs> so this is a song I wrote years and years and years ago about being over in Ireland the first time seeing my cousins so uh, we're now all gone that that generation my dad's first cousin so Bull and Reed.
nothing sleepy, dull still, nothing going on. And it was a good thing too, because they avoided it and uh, <laughs> kept the culture alive, you know? And so uh, this is called uh, Holy Saints of Ireland. And I'll let Brian do the honors, because you've got a nice it's, little spiel. I don't, know how many, I, I don't know how many Irish saints there are, but we only could, could fit four of them in this song. Uh, the first one is St. Brennan, who was known for his you know, great faith in God, that God was going to take him in his little leather, where they call it, a, a carara. Cara. He ended up discovering America while the world was still flat. It takes a lot of, a lot of nerve. Absolutely. But, uh, and then you have, you know, St. Patrick, who we all know about, and uh, and St. Bridget, who was the ultimate philanthropist. You know? And then St. Malachi, who was, the, who was a visionary. And apparently he had suffered a, a serious head injury as a youth, and he, he became a prophet. Same thing happened to the late, great Dick Butkus. <laughs> Uh, uh, That's an American football joke. Uh, uh, roll with it. Anyway, he was the ultimate middle linebacker, you know. Okay. A lot of head injuries. <laughs> anyway, uh, we need your help on this one. Let me hear you say, Holy Saints of Ireland. Oh, Holy Saints of Ireland. And you'll hear it. It comes around every after every verse. <laughs>